Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Fig News Figures. It's your guy, Fig Noon, and we're back today with another figure review. Today, it's the NECA Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures slash figure. Oh, man, I've been so excited to pop this guy out the box ever since I picked him up. I think he looks really, really cool. He looks really, really well done, and I like that black bandana. But I got to do a review first for you guys, and uh, let's talk a little bit about Slash and this particular version that we're getting here. Of course, this is the comic book version rendition of him. And uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the comics, of course, they were uh, owned by Archie Comics, and they had a run there before they went to Mirage Comics and did some of the darker stuff. But while they were there, uh, you know, Slash kind of has his own backstory in that series. Of course, if you're familiar with the cartoon, you know, Slash was Raphael's uh, spiky pet turtle that had some mutagen poured on him, and he turned into Slash. Well, in the comics, it's a little bit different. Uh, Slash's story is a little bit darker. Uh, he lives on a planet... Somewhere off in a distant galaxy uh, full of palm trees. I, I can't even remember the name of the planet. We'll just call it Palmdale for now. A lot of palm trees out there. Uh, he's out there living his best life. Space goons come. They chop down all the palm trees to build like a fortress for their president. Uh, this gets Slash really mad. So he goes like on a killing spree. He kills all them, including their president. But he doesn't have any palm trees. So he's enraged. And he goes on a, a like a vengeance mission throughout the galaxy, killing leaders. All over the place. Finally, he's caught and he's exiled on to like this prisoner planet. Meets up with Krang. They link up, get back to Earth. He runs into the turtles eventually. You know, there's semantics in, in between there, of course. Uh, and uh, they're enemies of his until he befriends them and, and they have a really good time together. And in the end, Slash ends up sacrificing himself, flying into the sun in like a freaking rocket or something for a, a greater good. So he's really a, a badass in the comics. This is kind of the Slash I remember. The one from the cartoon, he's kind of goofy. And uh, this guy, he's like the complete opposite of him. And I'm uh, super glad we're getting a figure. This is a great rendition. Let's take a look at the box just a little bit. We get the Neck Adventure uh, series type comic font here in the upper left corner. Of course, in the upper right corner, you get the Nickelodeon licensing. They're not, they're not going to let a figure come out without their name on it. Right. Here we get the comic book animation there on the side of Slash. And this is what he looked like in the Archie comics. I'll do a little side-by-side with the shot of the comics and uh, this figure so we could see just how good of a job they actually did. Here you get one, two, three pictures of uh, Slash there and then you get more to come. Actually, these guys are out already. Go get them while you can. Uh, Man Ray, Jaguar, and Dreadmon. Man, if I find this guy in the wild, I think that's an automatic pickup. I'm not really going to, you know, hunt these guys down, but... Anyways, here you get Slash again with a little palm tree in his hand and like I said, uh, he's this guy's a real nature boy, but... Uh, that's why he's got the Ric Flair drip going on. You see the belt. You see the bandana. Oh, ooh -wee, I can't wait to pop this guy open, guys. So with no further ado, uh, let's get into it. Okay, huh? guys. So I got Slash out of the box. And I got to say, he just looks so much better outside of that box. You get to really see these black rich lines that they've done on here to give it that comic book look. He's kind of like an olive green this time that we're getting. Uh, th this blue paint that we're getting here on the claws. It just really, really makes it pop. It really looks like he just stepped right out the page and uh, into your display. Let's get a close look there at the face. Of course, he's coming with the black bandana. I love that. In the uh, cartoon, he had like a really, like I said, kind of goofy look. And he had the, the one big eye, but it was like this like weird metal piece, not a black bandana. I really prefer this over that. You get some like warts and stuff there on his head as well. And uh, those aren't just painted, they're actually molded on there. So that's a nice detail. And then they go the extra mile and paint the black around it. To me, that those are the little things that, that just make this figure pop. Nice, super white eyes. I mean, they're really, really white. You see these eyes from a mile away. Nice, defined black. It's not like super crispy. It looks more kind of rounded. Oh man, I really like that. You get the pink gums. And they're just killing it over there at NECA with, with as far as the turtles go. Nice shading here. Uh, not not shading, but like the, the little lines they've done here to give it some like a kind of texturish type look. Here on the back, you get the... Oh man, I'm just loving this shell. This looks a lot. This is really close to what they did in the comics. Of course, uh, Slash always has a spiked shell, but this, this looks really cool. And we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons uh, with the other Slash figure that I have out of box. You get some like little buttons here, nice detailing there. The back pouches is kind of similar like to what you got with the Playmates figure here with the little uh, 
like ninja stars on his on his belt there. And you get the skull and the crossbones. Of course, the backwards S there. Lots of little warts and uh, little bumps all over this guy. I mean, they're they're all over him. And I really like the way those look. Nice, thick, rich, dark lines there. Man, this guy looks really cool. I mean, even if you're not going to pick up the comic book version, this guy will go great even with the, the animated series, I think. You know, just to throw behind your other turtles, just to have that one menacing turtle, you know, there in the mix. I don't know how you can go wrong with picking this guy up. He, he has a really cool look. He doesn't look goofy like that other slash that we got. Really excited to have this guy in the collection. Uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about my guy Slash's articulation. Okay, so for articulation, let's go ahead and check out my guy Slash here and see what he's got going on. Uh, starting off with the head, which kind of sticks out, kind of like this hunchback type posture that he has here. Uh, the head can go down about this far. You got to kind of push my uh, joints are a little bit tight here. And then uh, the head can go back about that far. One thing that's interesting about this figure, you get the ball joint for the tied up bandana right there in the back. So you can go left to right, whatever looks better in your display. Uh, here on the arms, you get the shoulder pads here from the little board uh, thing he's got going on. But the cool thing is they molded it in a way that it's not going to run into your shell. Front or back. It might rub a little a little bit right here. I take that back now. It, it depends on the, on the position you have it, but you shouldn't have any problems. Swivel there at the uh, bicep. They go up about that uh, high. You get double jointed elbows. Those feel good. You get some... 360 action here actually you get some swivel but not exactly 360 because you got those claws there and then you're going to get a hinge which is kind of hard to put into motion like i said with these claws here which are not detachable so uh do what you can with those you get a diaphragm joint there under the shell so you get a little bit of action here you got to kind of like really grip this guy from the top and the bottom uh no swivel here at the waist just because of the way the shell is and then you get the belt it's like connected here from uh the front to the back that'd be kind of hard to do but uh the legs go out about this far they go up about that high you get double jointed knees and then you get a hinge there at the ankle with a little bit of a rocker which is nice you shouldn't have any problem standing this guy up he feels really good i got no gripes as far as articulation and uh that'll do it for my guy slash okay so to talk about slash's included accessories that he comes with uh, you're gonna get these two pairs of like uh, grabbing, clawing, uh, coming after you type hands that are really cool because they come painted around the fingernails just to accent that look that he uh, has all over the rest of his body. So that's pretty cool. One for the left and the right. And then you're going to get the gripping hand that comes here with the same effect there on the fingernail. And then as far as weapons, you get the Kasui Gama uh, weapon here that has the blue paint on it. And then the brown paint here with some texturing there on the handle. Uh, this is a classic slash weapon that you get here, so you got to come with that weapon. And then you get the crooked side that has the this has the blue paint on the blade. I notice, and there's no blue paint here. I thought maybe on the other side, but no, there's no blue paint. But here you get it with the broken up black lines, which is a nice look. Another comic book uh, detail that they've done there, and then you get the brown detailing there on the handle. So that's accessory. Okay, so now I just wanted to do a quick side by side with slash from the comic books. Just so you can get a look at what they've done. And man, they just really killed it. I mean, that, that Slash is really on point. And this is one of the more badass pictures that we get from Slash here in the comics. He looks kind of cartoony in some of the other pages uh, uh, of the comic book. He doesn't always look this savage. But I think they picked the best look to, to go with. And I really think they nailed okay, it. Okay, now so for a side-by-side -side comparison of the two Slashes. This is the Turtle and Time NECA Slash that we have here. And this is the uh, current Slash that we're reviewing here. Man, this dude is just a real monster. He's just a real beast. Look what they've done here as far as sizing him up. I mean, Slash should have always been bigger than the Turtles if ever done in a figure form. And uh, this Slash right here, he's kind of puny. You know, I, I don't see him even winning maybe head up with Donatello. I, this guy's kind of small. Of course, uh, he still has kind of a goofier look. This is based off Turtles in Time. But you can see the difference. Uh, he's just so much more savage, so much more bulkier. Uh, as far as the shells go, uh, actually as far as the, the arms go, you still get like the three boards here. You know, kind of some texturing here. But see how, this just looks so much better. Look at the black lines. Man, they're just killing it, man. And then the shell here, of course a different effect here you get on the back of the shell. It's more like a digitized graphic look. And then 
you get this shell here with kind of the comic book lines on it. But still, I mean, I got to go with this one. You get some kind of like little accessory stuff here painted on the back. And uh, this still, you even get multiple colors here on this shell. And I still just got to go with this one here over this guy. Uh, yeah, so that's side-by-side -side comparisons. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, Slash next to Leonardo. Okay, so for a side-by-side -side comparison, we got Slash here right next to Leonardo from the Turtles in Timeline. And man, he's super beefy. You can see the size comparison. That's what I like about what they did here with this Slash. Uh, the colors really pop out. You can see, you know, two completely different greens, of course. I think the most recent Turtle 4-pack they did was kind of more reminiscent of this green here. Kind of the, the candy green. And for me, it seems like with the, the lighter the green on the Turtles, the happier they are. You notice? You ever notice that? And the darker the green, it's kind of like you get this here. You know, you even think about what they did with the Ronin uh, Turtles figures. And those figures are pretty dark. And uh, they're pretty badass as well. So uh, that's a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, let's talk about my final review and go ahead and close this thing okay up. guys so for my final verdict here on this slash figure i'm 100 satisfied with this guy i like that light brown on the shell with the little gauntlets and elbow straps that they've done at a different nice rich brown as well as that olive green skin that they did with that dark green shell and it all really pops out with the nice black lines the black bandana look i mean you can't go wrong especially with those humongous white eyes popping out it, you know your eyes are just drawn to it it he looks great with the cartoon turtles as well. You get the classic weapons here. Nothing to complain about there. Definitely nothing to complain about that crooked side and the blue paint job that they did on the opposite side. So I'm pretty happy here. You've seen the side by side with the turtles in time slash figure. And even though that figure looks really good, the size here, oh man, he's beefed up. He's got a lot more muscle. He's a lot more weight inside of that box. When you pick it up, you're going to know right away. And I kind of like those other Mutanimal figures that are out there. If I could pick those guys up in the wild, and I'd probably do so. Let me know if you guys like this figure and what's your favorite Slash that's been released so far. Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. It's your guy, Fig Newton. Fig Newton, out.